Hello YouTubers, I'm not an expert. Today we're going to review another inexpensive hand plane. Cheap hand plane even. This one is uh, for doing uh, roundovers on the edge of the, of the work. And all it says on the box here is a series of handmade tools for wooden plane. And then there's a few pictures. So let's bust it out of the box and see what we got. I'll get out of here somehow. All right, so uh, just like the other ones I've shown before, kind of that standard uh, hardwood. Uh, it's got a nice finish on it. It feels really good. It's very smooth and slick. And this one's kind of nice because it has a, a brass cap iron instead of just a wooden wedge with a little screw in it. So let's take that apart. Well, before we take it apart, let's look at the bottom. So it's got a, you know, a 90 degree groove in it so that it'll run on the edge of the wood and it's got the cutter let's take a look at the cutter okay well, it's not too bad it's pretty uh there you go so not polished or anything but not terrible it looks a little like it's got some burr to it there that isn't great see how the light's reflecting off the edge the cutting edge not super pretty We'll put it back in and we'll we'll see how it it functions. And here's the the brass piece, which I'm not sure that's real brass. Might just be brass, something with plating on it. I don't know. It doesn't look very natural to me. We'll find out. So let's see. This goes in. I forgot how it was when I pulled it out. I'm going to put it in bevel up. We'll see what we get. I'll put the that in first. Can you see anything? You can't see anything. It's just my hands in the way. I'll edit a little bit. And we'll take a piece of poplar today. Let's, let's change the camera's aim a little bit. Get you on there. And let's see. Okay. I'm going to grab a little hammer and you can see what I'm doing. We have overdone that a little bit. Well, that's probably super deep now. Okay, well, it cuts okay. Let's take a look. Can you see the shape it did to the end? It's more of a, a bevel than a round over. Let me do it on the light side of the wood so maybe we can get a better idea. Okay, not cutting. I'm going to drill a little bit deeper, try and get. Okay, let's talk about this a little bit. Even with the burr, that actually cut okay. Um, this is a pretty soft wood, but it did do you know sort of a, a bevel it didn't really cut a circle like i'd hoped take a look at this cutter again so you'd think that would get you more of a, a round over let me try flipping it over what what happens let's find out let's 
See if it cuts any better or any different. Different would be interesting. So here we go. It definitely sounds worse. <laughs> Okay, I took a bigger cut. Let me turn around and pull it. Finish this off. Okay, still making more of a bevel than it is uh, any kind of a roundover, even though there is a bit of arc to that blade. So, what do I think? Well, I think it needs a little touching up. So, let's do that. All right, so I gave it a quick going over with. Uh, the diamond file. That's all I have that has a rounded edge. And uh, try to get the burr out of it. So let's see what kind of a result I got. Yeah, that seemed to help it. You find a fresh edge. I rounded all that one off. All right, I got a piece of pine. Always got some old pine laying around. Okay, you know what? It needed a little bit of a touch up, but you could probably do that with a piece of sandpaper. Oh, just kick the, kick the tripod. You could do that with a piece of sandpaper if you had to on a stick um, for what I did. I just barely touched. You probably can't really see it. I just took the burrs off of that leading edge. And that actually made a pretty decent, it's more of a bevel cut like I said, than a round over, which is I'm really hoping for more of, a, of an arc. So that would take some reshaping, get that to cut a better arc. But it, you know, it cut okay and it, it softened that edge. Now the bevel, if you can see that, it's about an eighth of an inch wide. And it's almost like a, a flat bevel. So if that's what you're looking for, this little plane was a good deal. Now it was about $15 or somewhere in there. I don't recall. Um, so I don't know. This is work that I think the way it cut, you'd be better off with a block plane, you could do the same work with a block plane as you can with this. It doesn't really help. I think that's kind of important. It was sharp enough out of the box that it was usable. But like I said, I think uh, I think a block plane would be a better purchase because I don't think that made a, a significant improvement over what a block plane could do. Even though you know it has the, the groove cut in it here to kind of guide you, uh, I don't think you need that. I don't think that really helps. So, you know, uh, it works. There's nothing wrong with it. I think the, the sharpening is adequate for budget plane. Uh, you certainly would want to put some effort into it if you really want to do some nice work. But based on the radius of that, cutting almost a bevel really more than a, than a, I read it. I suppose if I if I drove the cutter a lot deeper, it would start to make more of a round over. So it's kind of a round topped bevel. So I don't. There's there's what it is. Uh, like I said I, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's really all that useful since it basically does what you could do with a sanding block or um, you know a block plane. Uh, I think a block plane is, would be a better investment. But uh, there you go. I spent my money so you don't have to. Uh, I'm not an expert. I'll catch you later.